Gles divirtiéndose, siempre acompañados de nuestros monitores Baugan. Realizarán talleres, actividades, veladas nocturnas y todo ello en inglés. 91 133 5832. Apúntate a nuestros cursos trimestrales. En solo tres meses perfeccionarás tu inglés. Cursos trimestrales de Baugan. Infórmate ya en el 91 133 5833 o en grupo baugan.com. Estás escuchando Born Radio. Born Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, people of planet Earth, it's the show that welcomes you to the weekend. I am Rob Grams. And I am Mamen Rivera. And you are listening to Blah Blah Live. Blah Blah Live. Mamen Rivera, how are you? I'm good. I'm fine now that it's Friday and the week is almost over. It's weekend o'clock. It's weekend o'clock. Yeah, weekend o'clock happens um, <laughs> happens simultaneously with beer o'clock. Yeah. On a, on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know my my colleagues, Mr. Fitzgerald. She, he's already waiting for me in the bar. <laughs> Such a good man. How are Buenas you? Tardes. Yeah. Buenas tardes. Tino. Buenas tardes. <laughs> um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy for the weekend, more so this week than many others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a tough week at work. A tough week at work. Tough. There tough. are many words in English to talk about things that are difficult, mm. difíciles. You can say difficult. Yeah, yeah. You can say tough. Hard. Hard. Tricky. Tricky. Yeah, yeah. Because we complain a lot, British Because, people. Yeah, you make things complicated. Complicated. Uh, complicated. <laughs> <laughs> you can use complicated for relationships too. It's complicated. It's complicated. Are you in a relationship? Oh, it's complicated. Yeah, that was one of the Facebook yeah, yeah. status, no? Yeah, yeah. For relationships. It's complicated. It's complicated. That is my relationship status. <laughs> it's complicated. With the world. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm happier than usual for the weekend. And you, Mum and Rivera, how are you? Uh, good. Good. You have also had a stressful week. Yes, we've all had a stressful week. Yeah. <laughs> But it's over now. It's over now. And next week is going to be easier. Oh, wow. Next week is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt. Yes. And how are you spending the weekend this weekend, Mum and Rivera? Well, tonight I'm going to... Uh, oh, I can't say it because it's a surprise. If he's listening, he's going to know. Uh-oh. I'm going to go to a surprise something. You're going to go to a surprise... <laughs> There is only one word. <laughs> you don't have a surprise I bar hope, mitzvah. I hope my friend is not listening. <laughs> I'm going to go to a surprise. Oh, have I just spoiled it? Yes, you've totally spoiled. Oh, shit. You have totally spoiled your friend's surprise something. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go to a something in which I'm going to drink, listen to some music, you know. Dance. Dance. Listen. Yeah. See, I never dance. I'm British. I, English is, people don't dance. People from Facebook, that is not true. I have seen you dance and I have seen you twerk. Really? When did I do that? But you don't remember. No. I must have been <laughs> very drunk. Yeah, you you, you twerk it? Twerked? ¿Cómo sería? Twerked. You twerked a little bit. Twerk, yeah. que es hacer twerking. A little twerking. A little bit. Yeah. Poquito. Okay. Well, I'm not twerking right now, but <laughs> if you want to see me just out of curiosity, what a grown man <laughs> that twerks looks like <laughs> and what Mamin Rivera looks like. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I'm going to twerk. You're not going to twerk? I'm not going to twerk either. A lo mejor pasa algún día, not today. Not today. No. <laughs> so if you want to see what we look like, if you want to participate in today's show, then you need to go to facebook.com barra Grupo Vaugan. Look for where it says Directo Live. Mm -hmm. Haz clic ahí y puedes ver el programa. Y ahí puedes, estamos. Sí, y participar en el chat. Yes. Um, just like Rocky says, good. good. He's happy. He's happy we're here. Luchadora <laughs> says, thanks. Thank you, Luchadora, mm -hmm. for being so awesome. Serapi says, I'm on time. I'm on time. Good. Yes, on time. She's not late. She, she's not late. She's on time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clava. And um, Juan Ramon Galvez, <laughs> Boca Negra, says, Hi, good Friday afternoon. Hi, Juan Ramon. Hi, Juan Ramon. It's always a good Friday afternoon. It's weird today because the camera's there, but 
the computer for me is here and yeah you've um, got the computer privileges um, today. yeah I'm, I'm waving at nowhere <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, like every week we have a question to help you to encourage you to chat with us we have a lot of people watching us live right now hi guys on facebook hi fabian saludos desde mexico um, Fabian, thank you. And saludos <laughs> desde Madrid. Soraya says, hi, hi, Soraya. How are you doing? Soraya. Soraya. No, r. 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 Oh, Soraya. Yeah, Okay. K kind of. <laughs> I don't know when to roll the R's. I just guess. <laughs> if it is one, you don't roll it. Okay. Unless it is at the beginning of, of the word. Well, um, what now? So, uh, in so Spanish. Ramon. Ramon, exactly. Just one R, but it's at the beginning of the word. Okay. So, it's... Ramon. Ramon. But if it's in the middle and if and it's, and it's just only one, one. Er. okay, okay, I'm <laughs> I'm learning. I'm I'm learning something new. It's not that difficult. It's a little <laughs> issue that Spanish pronunciation has. El inglés es peor. I, I, did, I honestly did not know the bit, the thing about the beginning. If it's if it's at the beginning of the word, you have to roll the r. Now you know. And that's how <laughs> that's how we say that sound. Er. To roll the R. You know, it's much easier for Scottish people to roll their R's. Mm, because they do roll them. Because they roll them, yes, yeah. in in um, in the, in when they speak English. Mm. Yeah. Um, so what's today's question, Mamin? Today's question is, what is your favorite season of the year and why? What is your favorite season of the year and why? And why are we asking this question? Um, because spring has sprung spring has sprung spring Isn't has that sprung the cheesiest sentence you can <laughs> say in english it's very cheesy <laughs> but i love it sprung in este caso es el participio de spring exactly que aparte de primavera as a verb mm -hmm. it means it means to um, brotar no yeah to kind of launch yeah sprung <laughs> spring has sprung yeah and spring can also mean muelle Muelle as in yeah, no? the, yeah, spring. Like a yeah, yeah, like a spring. Did you ever have a slinky spring? Do you know what a slinky the one spring with is? Colors yeah, from the nineties. And it yeah. walks down the stairs. Yeah. So yeah, slinky a spring. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice en español? Eh, a spring. Spring. Yeah. Primavera. No, no, no. Muelle. Muelle. Yeah, but that thing uh, I don't know. That's called but a what, slinky ¿cómo spring. ¿Cómo llamamos a eso? What do you call that, guys? Tell us the the thing that that is pink and yeah, yeah. green and colorful and it's. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember what its name was, and I had one, and I loved it when I was a child. Yeah, me too. Although it's in modern in mo by modern standards, it's a it's a rubbish toy. <laughs> it is it's a little a bit of a rubbish toy. Yeah. So, guys, so today's question: What is what is your favorite <laughs> season of the year, and why? What is your favorite season, and why? Mamin Rivera, what is your favorite season? Autumn. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it's not too cold, it's not too hot. Uh, I mean, spring is good for that too. Yeah. But I have hay fever. Uh, so Allergia, so hay you, fever. So you sneeze a lot. So I don't really like spring that much. The summer is too hot, especially here in, in Madrid. Wow, yes. And winter is too cold so autumn <clears throat> autumn and i normally take my holidays in september my summer holidays yeah so. it's a good time everything's mm. cheaper yeah 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 i would agree my favorite season is autumn because it's when everybody gets for me the reason is because it's when everybody gets back from holiday <laughs> they're in a good mood <laughs> It's true. Are they? Yeah. Are they in a good mood? Yeah, after? because everybody gets back together. Like, you notice, at least here in Madrid, I don't know what it's like in, in other cities where you're listening to us. Oh, by the way, hi to um, hi to all the people in the rest of Spain and in <laughs> Lima, Peru, Yay. and all the people in chat from all over the world. Um, we are in Alicante now. And we are in Alicante. Hello, so people in hello, Alicante. Hello, people from Alicante. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the Blah Blah Live family, Alicante. We are like a virus. Spreading. Spreading all over the world yeah, yeah. to teach them English. Although I will say, <laughs> comparing us to a virus, it kind, it kind of sounds a little negative. A good virus. A good virus. That teaches you English. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, everybody everybody comes back 
everyone returns to the city that they're from and there's like a good feeling a good and the weekends are a lot, a lot more exciting it's not too cold it's still warm so you know lots of lots of people on terraces mm -hmm. oh yeah september is my favorite month yeah i arrived in spain when i first came to spain i arrived in september and i was like this is awesome <laughs> And then I experienced my first Spanish winter. Oh, yes. And I was, and I said, this is awful. <laughs> this is not awesome. <laughs> this is not awesome. <laughs> um, let's take a quick look at the comments. Um, okay. Nanita says, hi from Santandercito Ooh. in Colombia. I didn't know there was a Santandercito in Colombia, or Santandercito, as they would say. Yeah. And I loved it. Oh, wow. Que guay. It's, it's like, it's like a tiny a Santander. Little Santander. Yeah. Little Santander. Yeah. Santandercito. How cool. Hi, Nanita. Thank you for joining Hi. us on the show. Um, uh, Juan Ramon says, um, oh, Galvez, boca negra. <laughs> says, always in a good mood. Always, Juan Ramon. Hombre, eso siempre. Uh, Gabriel <laughs> says, Hi from Ibiza. Oh. Hi, Gabriel. Wow. Gabriel is officially the luckiest yeah. person. You won. You won you, this you, chat. You win. You win the <laughs> chat. Um... Almost well done. Almost well done with my muy name. With my name, I think she means. Almost well done with my name, says Soraya. Good. Good. Did I get it right that time? Did I get it right that time, Soraya? <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Um, Serapi says, there's someone staring at you. Oh. I'm so paranoid right now. <laughs> I'm so paranoid right now. Uh, Coquito says, <laughs> hi, how are you? Saludos desde... Pulgarcito de America, El Salvador. Hi, that is a cool name too. P Pulgarcito. Yeah. Uh, what's that? That's a little something. As uh, well. Tiny thumb. Tiny thumb. Yeah. Tiny thumb in El Salvador. <laughs> Hi, Coquito. Welcome to the chat. Um, uh, Romel says resorte. Yes, yeah, spring. Ah. Well, yeah, you can also call it resorte. resorte. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that, Romel. Uh, Juan Jimenez says, my favorite season is the summer because I'm on vacation and I can go to the beach every day. Good. Very good. Do you like going to the beach? I do not. Well, <laughs> I, I will tell you why. Because I, I don't want you to think, oh, God, these English people don't no, I like hate, anything. No, I hate the beach myself. That's why I'm asking. I lived in Fuerteventura for two years and it's beautiful. The beaches... The beaches, be careful of the pronunciation. We know. A, a long, <laughs> the beaches. The beaches in Fuerteventura, the, the sand is white and fine. The, the water is blue and clear. Um, and it takes maybe three weeks with your mind blown, like really in love with the place. Wow. It takes three weeks to get bored. <laughs> and then... All of a sudden, <laughs> those crystal clear seas and those fine sands don't seem so exciting anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, yeah, and I, and I get bored easily. I prefer to be doing an activity. I like to sit around and, at a beach, mm -hmm. but for maybe like half an hour. Yeah. Or to walk on the beach, I find better. And you are a Gary, so you will get... You would get sunburned. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> True story. If you stay for too long. Yeah, and I'm a bald giri, so my head, <laughs> like, I look like a tomato if I get sunburned. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Fabian says, spring when is green everywhere. When it's green. Yeah, when it's no green. No te olvides del sujeto, it's. Exactly, Fabian, yes, but you're right, it's green mm -hmm. everywhere, it's beautiful season. My favorite season is summer, says Marisol, because it's th it's beginning of holidays. Mm -mm. It's the beginning but of your holidays. Mm -hmm. It's right. the beginning. Yeah. We're going to talk about this later, the mm. article the. Okay. Because this is confusing for students, even for, for myself as well. Yeah. Cuando se usa y cuando no se usa the. All right. We're going to talk about that. I'm no excited. Um, Gabrielle <laughs> says, hi from Ibiza. Is that another person from Ibiza? Hi. Oh, yeah. Gabrielle. Um, Juan Ramon says, I prefer spring because it comes the warm... Ooh, because it comes... Because it, can, it comes a warm weather... And the season of love. <laughs> <laughs> the season okay. of love. Okay, Juan Ramon, Game of Thrones. What did the Stark say? Ooh. Winter is, is coming. So, warm weather 
comes. The warm weather comes. I see my In the spring. And it is the season of love. Yeah, it's when the birds... Are... Do you actually feel that yourself, that you feel more horny <laughs> in, the, in, the, in spring? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Someone open a window in here, please. It's getting warm in the studio right now. Um, no, for me, that happens in the winter. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm more of a nester. A nesting person. Nest significa nido. Nido, yeah. A nester es alguien que le gusta estar ahí. Yeah, yeah. Arropadito. So the winter is nice for me because, you know, you stay at home, you get under your um, your your quilt, la mantita, you know, you get <laughs> super warm, you put your Netflix on, you know, and if you've got company, even better. <laughs> you know, you put on a movie, you watch five minutes of it, and then other things start to happen. Yeah, but it, <laughs> when spring, uh, sp spring arrives... Mm -hmm. People just wear, started to wear less clothes, and that's true. You see more flesh. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I suppose that's true. Yeah, but you know, I'm used to. You know, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I'm used to not paying, not paying so much attention to that, <laughs> because as a man, it's very easily to. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, so I try not to pay well attention. Done. I try and be a good man. <laughs> um, Marisol says, I, in this year, I hope to travel to Spain in the summer. In this year, or you could just say this year. This year. This year, I hope to travel to Spain in the summer. Wow, wow. great, Marisol. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Because Spain in the summer is, especially Madrid. Yeah, it's very hot. It's really hot. Where are you from, Marisol? Please tell us. Um, George um, says, nice to hear you from Mexico. It's George, it's nice to have you hearing us from Mexico. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, my friend. Um, Rocky says, in Ecuador, we don't really have that. We have the rainy season and the one that is not rainy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the one that is not rainy, which is generally known as summer here. That's easier. They just have two, so... Yeah. You know what we need? We need a, we need a sound effect that says, nivelazo. Nivelazo. Because yeah. Rocky has a nivelazo. Yes. Um, uh, Ikram says, hi from Malaga. Hi, Ikram. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Serapis, my favorite season of the year is all of them. Well, I can't even differentiate w in which season I am. Now, uh, which season I'm in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because you're in a season. Why? Because where I live, it's windy, cold, hot, rainy, dry, no matter what season we are in. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> place I live. Yeah. So peaceful, though. Okay. Yeah. So where where did where does Serapis live? I forget already. Mm, Mexico, right? Was it I Mexico? I think so. Could be. Uh, Pablo says, "Hi guys, summer is my favorite season, cause wow, very native. Oh, yeah. yeah, very native. Cause. cause I like summer weather. Wow. So guys, cause cause is how a British person would abbreviate the word because. C O S. C O S. Cause, but it's grammatically incorrect. Yeah, don't write that on a, on an on in on on an essay on an essay don't write that in an essay really uh, i thought you were gonna say on, on the and internet. in I'm yeah, yeah. My, my nightmare yeah <laughs> so yeah don't write that in in any anything official or anything but important it, for a comment on facebook it's it perfect. looks it's perfect and yeah. it looks super native yes. nivelazo uh, mari carmen estrella lara says hello my favorite season is summer because i'm on holiday for two months do you know who that is i know it's your mom yeah hi <laughs> hi mom and mom, mom. Yeah, she's on holiday on two, uh, during two months because she's a, a oh, for, for two months because she's a teacher. Yeah, she's a school teacher. School teachers. Do school teachers in in England have the, the summer off? Yes. The two months. Um, off. yes. Although it's probably not worth it because uh, have you seen the weather in England? Yes. Hello. <laughs> That's why you all come to Spain. <laughs> That's true. Um. Christian, wow, we've got a lot of comments. Guys, keep this rhythm coming. We love it. Um, Christian says, I love this program. Christian, Ooh. no, we love you. Thank you for tuning in, Christian. <laughs> You're the best. Um, uh, wow, how do we pronounce this name? Hortensia. 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 Good. <laughs> Hortensia says, hello, my favorite season is the spring because the days are more longer. Oh. Longer. The, just longer. See more. 
um, because the days are longer than in the winter and the temperature is very warm. Yeah, right now it's beautiful. It's yeah. perfect right now for us. Nanita says, in uh, Santen Santandercito... That's the best, best name, name ever. for a town ever. <laughs> Do you think in, somewhere in the world there's a Madridcito? Madridcito. Madridcito. Huh? A little Madrid. I hope so. <laughs> um, in Santandercito, it is so funny. Uh, in Ma Santandercito, it is so funny. It, it's so funny. Because you can have all the seasons in one day. Sun, rain, and etc. Yeah. Like in Ireland. Like in Ireland or in England. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are very temperamental. Temperamental can change very quickly. So yeah. we have very temperamental weather. How do you say temperamental in Spanish? Temperamental. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> temperamental. Easy. So guys, thank you for thank you for all your comments. Keep yes. them coming in. <clears throat> I have something. Okay. I have a question for you. Uh oh. Can you say the spring has sprung? No. No. Because then you're talking about the more no, como se dice? A the, specific yeah. or, or the or the el muelle. Yeah, no. el muelle. That's yeah. it. If I say the spring is the muelle. Yeah. So for seasons we don't normally use the article the, no? Don't normally, but there are exceptions. Unless it's a specific yeah. No? winter. Yeah. That yeah, is the, I, the winter of nineteen forty nine. Exactly. Yeah. That is what I wanted to talk about because this is this is tricky or hard or tough or difficult, <laughs> complicated <laughs> for us Spaniards because sometimes when you don't use the article the in English, we do. Yeah. So, vamos a dar unas reglas, some rules Ooh, where okay. you don't have to use the article the. Sorry to, for being the boring part of the show, but no. I think this is necessary. Please, people <laughs> of the internet and radio land, explain to Mamen that this is the useful part of the show. <laughs> yeah, useful is boring. No, it's not boring. It's not this boring. Is fun. This is going to be fun. So, with nouns in plural, in general, yeah. we don't use the article the in English. For example, people are happy, kids like playing, uh, strawberries are red. Estoy hablando en plural de cosas. Yeah. So, we don't use the article the unless we are referring to a specific group of people a specific group of kids of kids a, spe a specific group of, of strawberries look at that yeah no the strawberries in this box yeah are red or the kids in this class are really good yeah whatever vale? that's the first rule. that's the first rule <clears throat> in spanish we do in spanish we say los niños juegan yeah but in english no kids play Kids play. That's it. ¿Qué más? Languages. ¿Cómo dirías el inglés es un idioma muy importante? In English. In, in English, how to say inglés es un idioma muy importante. El inglés es un idioma muy importante. El inglés es un... Uh, English is an important language. Yes. You don't say the English. We don't say the English. So with languages, mm -mm. no. No. Es muy raro que con un idioma aparezca the delante. Yeah. Puede haber algún caso, pero lo normal es que no. With meals... With meals. How do you say el desayuno es la comida más, más importante? Everything is important. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast is the most important meal. Exactly. So you don't say the breakfast. Not unless you're talking about a specific breakfast. Exactly. So in Spanish, we, we do. We say yeah. el desayuno. But in English, just... Desayuno. Sin, sin the. Yeah. Okay? Con nombres propios. Yeah, proper, proper names. Pro proper nouns. Proper nouns. Yeah. Do you say proper nouns? Yeah. No, like names. For yeah. example, how do you say la princesa Elsa es la mejor? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to use this soundbite against me? Uh, princess Elsa is the best. Exactly. You don't say the princess Elsa. No. In Spanish, we do. Con el genitivo sajón. With the Saxon genitive. The Saxon genitive, que es el, la S esa que le ponemos a las cosas para decir de quién son. Yeah. Los cuadros de Rob son muy chulos. Um, Rob's paintings are very cool. Yeah. No, this is the Rob paintings. No. Well, unless you think I'm that important that I deserve <laughs> the Rob. The Rob. And I have more, but I think we're going to have to Yeah, wait we'll come back after the bit. break. Guys, don't go anywhere. You are listening to Blah Blah Live. We'll be back in exactly five minutes. Bye.
to Vaughn Radio. Esta Semana Santa, tráelos a los cursos intensivos de Vaughan para niños. Disfrutarán de sus vacaciones mientras se divierten de verdad. Y aprenden inglés en nuestras clases intensivas de 4 horas diarias, de 4 a 17 años. Infórmate ya en el 911335832 o en grupovaugan.com. Clases intensivas para niños y jóvenes en Semana Santa. 911335832. Grupovaugan.com. Ahora calienta un poco de aceite de girasol. That's it. Heat a little bit of sunflower oil in a frying pan, en una sartén. What if you don't have sunflower oil? Si no tienes aceite de girasol, puedes usar bien mantequilla o ghee, una grasa clarificada muy habitual en la cocina asiática. If you want to use olive oil, we recommend that you use a mild one. Con Let's Cook te va a quedar un inglés rico, rico. Let's Cook es un libro con 27 recetas para que aprendas inglés cocinando. Hemos mezclado muy bien la gramática con el vocabulario y las expresiones culinarias. Lo hemos dejado macerar durante el tiempo justo y lo hemos dejado horneado con unos cuantos ejercicios y con una buena ración de términos especializados sobre cocina. Ahora le ponemos un poco de audio para que aprendas a pronunciar todo lo que lees. ¡Y listo! Ya tienes Let's Cook por solo 10 1695 en baugantienda.com y te lo mandamos a casa gratis. Entra en baugantienda.com. Consíguelo antes de que se enfríe. Buscamos fomentar la faceta artística y creativa de los niños a través de una formación especializada en el mundo de las artes escénicas en un entorno angloparlante, donde pierdan el miedo a hablar en inglés y utilicen el idioma en su vida cotidiana mientras se divierten y desarrollan su potencial. Son las últimas plazas. No dejes pasar esta convocatoria. Campamento Baugan con la Escuela de Danza y Artes Escénicas Víctor Ullate. Infórmate en el teléfono 91 133 5832 91 133 5832 ¿Tus hijos tienen entre 10 y 18 años? ¿Quieres mandarlos al extranjero a aprender inglés este verano? Sin riesgos y con total confianza. Mándalos a un campamento en Canadá con Baugan. Pasarán cuatro semanas de acampada en un paraje de ensueño junto a chicos y chicas canadienses con muy pocos alumnos hispanohablantes para que tengan que comunicarse en inglés sí o sí. Nosotros nos encargamos de todo para que no tengas que preocuparte de nada. Vuelo de ida y vuelta, alojamiento, pensión completa, actividades con monitores, todo incluido en el precio. Llámanos ya al 91-133-5832 e infórmate sin compromiso. Campamentos de inglés en Canadá. 91-133-5832. Experimenta de forma gratuita cómo aprender el idioma con el método que ha revolucionado la enseñanza del inglés en España. Este 25 de marzo, en Madrid, Masterclass con Richard Vaughan en la Casa del Libro de Gran Vía 29. Reserva tu plaza, es gratuita. grupoaugan.com barra eventos guión Vaughan. I started to learn English when I was very, very young. My tip for somebody who is learning English is be brave and don't be afraid of... Exaggerate in an accent. You're free to go anywhere you want. Be like Marta. Be like them. Descubre más en grupobaugan.com. Estás escuchando Vaughn Radio. You're listening to Vaughn Radio. You're listening to Vaughn Radio. You're listening. You're listening to Vaughn Radio. You're listening. You're listening. You're listening. Tune in every day. Vaughn Radio. Aprovecha estos días para mejorar tu inglés rápidamente con los intensivos de inglés de Baugan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Welcome back. If you were watching on Facebook, we left the camera on today. Yeah, so, so you, can, you could see us chatting. Yeah, it was pretty boring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But we don't want you to go anywhere. We always lose people through the break. Yes. We have to start doing something interesting in yeah. those breaks. Like Give us a suggestion. Yeah. Suggest something to us. What can we do? What can we do through the break? To entertain you yeah. um, in those breaks. Breaks. They're going to say something like twerking. Twerk. Rock and twerk. I cannot twerk. <laughs> yes, you can. I've seen you do it. If you've seen me twerk, you know I can't twerk. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> so let's take another quick look at the comments. Christian says, my favorite season is winter, but in Nicaragua, we are in the summer right now. Wow. I yeah. bet it's lovely. And welcome, 
um, Christian from Nicaragua. Um, Luchadora says, ¿A qué hora echan el programa para principiantes? Thanks very much. It's, well, it's for beginners. The best show you can listen to are Julia's. Yeah, Julia uh, Norwicky. Uh, English O'Clock mm -hmm. at four o'clock every day. At four o'clock every day for one hour. And Fitz. Fitz does beginner classes, I believe, on a Monday. So Mondays at 9.30... You can um, you can enjoy the um, uh, the show that fits um, my friend fits. God, I'm struggling to think of the name. Uh, no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> at nine thirty on a Monday <laughs> and Tuesday's show is also of a, of uh, for lower levels. Mm -hmm. Luchadora, so please but enjoy. Luchadora Tierras del Mundo. What a cool name! <laughs> <laughs> Everything you listen to is great for your English, even if you're not understanding everything. Aunque no lo entiendas todo. Just it's good for you. Practice. So but that is it. how I learned Spanish. Don't don't listen to Rob because his Spanish is crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Serapi says not boring at all. Not boring at all. She, he's talking about your um, uh, your explanation. Bueno, of when bueno, to use I know. I know. I must. There is more. There is more. Um, the language people speak over here is in danger, says Serapis. Over where? Over ah, where? because she's given us an example of the with ah. languages. But I mean a specific lang language, yeah, no? Yeah. The English people speak here, yeah, you could yeah, say you that. Yeah, you could say that. But if only if it's specific. Yeah, yeah. If it's el inglés en general, it's English. It's in the... Um, Carlos, I shoot or I shoot. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Says Sorry. hi. Hi, Carlos. Hi. Um, and, and, and is that every, no, oh my God, you guys are so good today. <laughs> you guys are so good today. So many comments. Um, also, um, Fernan, do you think his name is Fernando? Could be. That, that would make sense, Fernando. Um, so <laughs> Fernan, hi Fer, says one friend said he prefer summer. Oh. One friend says he prefers Mm -hmm. Summer, because um, because he can practice his English level user. His English. Yeah, his English. He, he can practice his, he can his English. Practice his English. Because um, study English in summer. Yeah, you can study English English in summer. Yeah, you can study English in summer. It's a very good time to take advantage, aprovechar, mm -hmm. take advantage of your time because we all have time off in the summer. Soraya says something with your neck. Something with your neck. I don't know. Algo con tu cuello. Yeah. Something with your neck. Something with your neck. My neck. My neck. I'm getting paranoid again. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> you've got a friend, says Juan Ramon Galvez. <clears throat> Boca Negra. Ah, oh, there was oh, someone. Yeah. There was someone in the background. We missed it. Um, Dario says, "I prefer spring. Not too much hot. Not too much cold. Yeah. Mm. Not too hot. Not too cold. Too much." Yeah, seen them, seen much. I also have some some comments on Instagram. Tell us, tell us the comments but on Insta. People on Instagram are a little bit lazier than you guys, people from Facebook. <laughs> 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 because I asked, uh, "What's your favorite season of the year and why?" And they say, "Spring, summer, of course, summer, yeah. <laughs> always summer, summer, obviously, spring, winter is my favorite, summer, 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 summer." But no why. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell us why. Yeah, tell no, us why. No, no, tiene gracia, hombre. Because you have to practice. Yes. Everyone has to practice. <laughs> so tell us more. This was very interesting. When to use the? The. We have said with nouns in plural in general, yep. like kids, people, strawberries, uh, with languages, with meals. Mm -hmm. We don't say the lunch, the dinner. With nouns, like... Proper nouns. Proper nouns, like... What was the sentence? Princess. Oh, <laughs> Princess Elsa is the best. Good. <laughs> <laughs> With Saxon genitive, mm -hmm. like Los Cuadros de Rob son muy chulos. Rob's paintings are very cool. Yeah, because he's a painter. I paint. I haven't painted in a while, actually. <laughs> I need to get back at it. And we also don't use the with shops, with names of shops, mm. with shop names. Shop um, names of name. The like, names of shops, shop names yeah. is the same. I, in Spanish, I don't know if it's correct to say this, but I do say it. Voy al Zara. Ah. Wow, esa tienda de ese señor. <laughs> <laughs> but in English, 
No. No, I'm going to Thara. I'm going to Thara. Going to Thara. Thara. Zara. What would you call it in, in well, England? Well, I would, in England, I don't know, but I would call it Thara because that's what I'm used to calling mm. it now. But pro they probably say Zara. Zara. But if it, is, Zara. if it is a specific Zara, you would use the, no? Yeah. I'm going to the Zara in Gran Vía. Yeah, exactly. Siempre, es un poco por en general. Si es específico con the, si no, no. No. With years. With years. years. We don't use the with years. Nací en 1987, ¿cómo sería? I was born in 1900... <laughs> I was born in 1987. Very good. Yay! So, in, in Spanish, you can also say, nací en el... Ah. But in English, not in the 1987. Yeah. 1987. I had to think then, because yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention N to the number. Numbers are one of the most difficult things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with... Uncountable nouns. Uncountable. Uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo dices me encanta la cerveza? I love beer. You don't, you don't say I love the I don't beer. love the beer. In Spanish, la cerveza. I mean, in I English. like the beer. I wouldn't say we're close enough to be <laughs> in love with the beer. <laughs> Again, if it is a specific yeah. beer, you can say the beer. Like, I love the beer in this bar. Yeah, I love the beer in Germany. Por ejemplo. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, con accidentes geográficos. Oh. How do you say that in English? Uh, it's not accidents. No. no. <laughs> um, uh, where, where I need to. I need Mountains, some Mountains, rivers. Ah, yeah. They, they are not <laughs> geographic accidents. <laughs> we. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. Like landmarks, maybe. Okay, landmarks. We, we don't use the with this in in Spanish. We do like no he ido al Monte Rushmore, but in English. Um, I haven't been to Mount Rushmore. No, it's this the. Mm, no. Ma, ¿Cómo es? Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. No mm. lo dices. No. no. Y el, por último, por último, <laughs> con last. <laughs> 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 con last cuando va seguido de tiempo. No dices yeah. the last year. No. no. Está secas. Last year. Y hay más excepciones, pero yeah. bueno, con esto ya tenemos para un rato. You know what, what I found most confusing in Spanish? <clears throat> what? Was that you say, like, you don't say my hands, you say the hands. Oh, yes. Voy a lavarme las manos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't take ownership for your body. <laughs> the your hands, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, with uh, every other body part. Es me duele la cabeza. Yeah. In, in English, it's really weird to say the her head Hurts. The head hurts. You say my head hurts. My head hurts. Because Take ownership. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, every week we have a special because my Spanish, <laughs> my Spanish could be better. Yeah. My Spanish could be better. So every week we have a special section where where you guys at home or wherever you're listening teach me some Spanish. Let's go with Teach Rob some Spanish. La, la ma, el mapa, la, ma, la mapa. Teach Rob some Spanish. Ole. Okay. <laughs> so explain to everybody how Teach Rob some Spanish works. Okay. This is very easy. I'm teaching, I'm, I'm giving you an expression. An expression, okay. In Spanish that Rob doesn't know. I don't know this expression. And you have to explain it for him on Facebook. Yeah. Si no estáis en Facebook, corre a Facebook, Grupo Baugan barra videos, ahí estamos. Yeah. Y tenéis que explicarle a Rob la siguiente expresión en In Spanish. inglés. La, la expresión es en español. The Pero, explanation in English, please. Yeah, write the explanation in English. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't understand. My Spanish is too bad. <laughs> And today's expression is... Ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. Ponerle a, ponerle a <laughs> alguien. <laughs> ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. It's very ponerle easy. Ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. This is very easy. And now is when Rob <laughs> has a guess. No, it's And very it's, easy. It's obvious. It's stupid. You know, Come it's on. To put someone, to, to put long teeth, like false teeth. When you're old, your teeth fall out. So, obviously, it means it's something about putting long teeth. These teeth are too long for me. It's a dentist. <laughs> it's what you'd say at the dentist. My, guys, I need longer teeth. 
right? Is that what it is? It's about long teeth. It's a dentist's expression. So you go to teeth. the dentist and yeah, say... Yeah, I want longer teeth, uh. dentist. My teeth are too short. I want longer ones. Next! <laughs> I got it right, guys. Next expression. No. No? Next. No? No. no. <laughs> Okay. Do you think that would be, I mean, something that could happen in the yeah. world where you live in? That you go to the <laughs> dentist and say, por favor, póngame los dientes largos. Yeah, I want no. longer teeth, please, doctor. No. <laughs> doctor, can I have longer teeth? No. Maybe I, you have very short teeth. <laughs> I want longer teeth, doctor. Next expression. This one's done. Please, guys, help me because he's not getting it. He's not getting it. No lo pilla. Ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. Okay, so please explain it to me in English in the chat. Thank you. And meanwhile... Oh, meanwhile, okay. We get some explanations. Ooh. And going back to seasons... Okay. I have a quiz for you. A quiz? One of these really cheesy personality quizzes. <laughs> okay. And we're going to find out what season is... Rob's personality. What season is my personality? I think... Can, can <laughs> I... What, what season do you think I am, Mamin Rivera? Uh, I'm going to say... Autumn? Yeah. I'm going to say <laughs> winter. You're only saying autumn because I'm a middle-aged man. <laughs> You're in your autumn years. No, it, it years. is because of the... Because the leaves... <laughs> <laughs> because all the leaves have fallen <laughs> it's from it's my okay. head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. After the show, I have plenty of time to cry. Okay. Okay. While we're, do, while we're doing this test, guys, don't forget, you need to teach me right in the chat, right in the chat, what it what does ponerle a, a alguien los dentes largos, what it means. Otherwise, I'll never understand. Okay, let's go. Okay. What is your favorite, uh, oh, no, pico color? Blue, orange, pink, green, Red or yellow? Blue, orange, pink, green, red or yellow? Um, blue. Okay. Pick a color. Así decimos, elige un color. Pick, Pick a, a color. color. Mm. What vacation destination would you like to visit most? Hawaii. Did you say Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Australia. Mm -hmm. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Yeah. Ireland or New York? New York. Okay, New York. Vacation destination. A vacation destination. Yeah. Do you know what would be much easier? <clears throat> holiday. Where would you like to go on holiday? <laughs> yeah. Where would you like to go on holiday? Yeah. Where would you like to go on holiday? Boom. Okay, another one. Yes. Pick your favorite clothing item. Pick your favorite Literally. clothing item. Clothing item is prenda de ropa. Yeah. Clothing item. So we have scarf. This is pretty st straightforward. Hat. <laughs> Next. <laughs> scarf. <laughs> Flip flops. Yeah. Son. Chanclas. Good. Anything floral. <laughs> Cualquier cosa well, con flores. I, maybe it's that one, I think. A sundress. A sundress? <laughs> this is for women, Mum and Rivera. Hey, you, men can wear dresses Sundresses too. too. Okay. Boots or leggings? <laughs> this is for women. Scarf, <laughs> flip-flops, anything floral, <laughs> sundress, boots or leggings? Uh, scarf. Scarf? You've yeah. never... Worn leggings, no. Worn leggings. They're, they're really comfy. <laughs> well, maybe on Monday, but I think, I think my <laughs> boss will not be very happy. <laughs> Eso puede ser un espectáculo. Okay. Pick an animal. Pick an animal, okay. And this is going to be good, to be good because we're going to review some animal vocabulary. Ooh, okay. And I don't know what the first one is. So it's something like geiko. Gecko. 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 Se escribe geiko. Yeah. And it's like a lizard or something like that, no? Yes. Un lagartito pequeño. Yeah, it's a little, a little lizard. I don't know what. That is in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken. Snake. ¿Qué es? Uh, serpiente. Monkey. Uh, mono. Pig. Uh, oh, God, come on now. Bro. <laughs> My brain is not working. Um, cerdo. Good. And dog? Perro. Good. Now pick one. Dog. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> yes. Happily taken. Okay. Es una forma de decir felizmente yeah, yeah. taken, no casado. But taken. Other. Puntos suspensivos. 
single and loving it. Was another way of saying um, uh, of <clears throat> saying other, Mum and Rivera. Of saying other. Yeah. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> I'm going to say, because I don't want anyone out there to know my relationship status, because I'm a very private man. Other. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a very long test. <laughs> it is. Uh, what do you value most? Most Having fun with friends. Growth. Crecimiento. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge. Que es conocimiento. Yeah. Family. Beauty or cookies? <laughs> <laughs> growth. Okay, growth. How many questions are there, Mum and Rivera? Oh, pick your favorite cancelled TV show. Cancelled TV show, okay. Es una serie de televisión que han cancelado. <laughs> Gossip Girl. No. I don't watch TV. It's not a series, it's a. Yeah, yeah. That you don't watch it. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Never seen it. Buffy. Oh, okay. The Hills. Never seen it. And True Blood. Uh, I'm gonna say Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. <laughs> I once I was I was I went out with I used to go out <clears throat> with a girl who forced me to watch Buffy. I really like True Blood. I like the first two seasons. It's, it's so much fun and it's very yeah. muy punky. Pasan cosas muy raras. Okay, pick a. Are we still going with this? Yeah, question? sorry. <laughs> we have like mm, three or five questions left. <laughs> really? Okay, very We've quickly. We've got ten minutes left. Pick a be uh, beverage. Oh 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 oh. No. Okay, you, you will never know because we have to sign up and. Really? We have to start all over again. No. Sorry. Let's go back to teach Rob some Spanish. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna say that your personality is. Autumn, anyway. Yeah, and I think you can York, trust me yeah. better than this than the test. Than the test. Yeah, but I really like the fact that you thought about wearing leggings. I did for a second. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Maybe you'll be, you'll have a surprise on Monday morning when I come to work. <laughs> uh, let's quickly take a look at the chat. Um, uh, wow. Okay, so there are a lot. There are a lot of of comments, so I might skip yours. If I skip your comment, guys, don't be angry. <laughs> um, uh, Soraya says, because you guys have been stretching your necks in the paws. Ah, because ah, she said your neck. Mm. But we don't say pause, we say in the break. Break. The break. When you take a little descanso, we call it a break. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what else? Um, teach Rob some Spanish. Teach Rob some Spanish. ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. Okay, my favorite. Um, uh, let's see, we'll we'll probably get to someone <laughs> okay. teaching so Rob some Spanish. Ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. Conchi says, my favorite is spring because the days last longer and it's not very hot. Very good. Fair enough. No yeah. one here her, have, uh, has hay fever. No, I guess Nadie not. Nadie tiene alergia. <laughs> am, am I the only one? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, we're back with the teacher. We're Rob. mixing things here. What is it? Pick but the apple, eat the apple, throw the apple away. Yeah. This is. Yo de ahí no pasé de yeah, Sevillana. I don't dance, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Juan Ramón says, A beautiful song about seasons, Carol King in a disc call tapestry. In a disc, we say an album. 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 Um, you've got a friend. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't mm. know that song. I've been educated. Um, <laughs> I've been educated. <laughs> Carlos says, and we, and we change to the, with the sound of. Hmm? In front of, with the sound of I, I? In, front in front of the of vowel. A vowel. Ah, talking about the. Yeah. yeah. If it is before a vowel sound, you would say the instead the, of exactly. the, like the apple. Yeah. The You're apple. absolutely right, Carlos. The apple, the banana. Yeah. Very good. Ah, wow, Carlos. Carlos should be a Vaughan teacher. Nivelazo, <laughs> senor. Um, Conchi says, make someone feel really envious. Mm, ponerle a alguien los dientes largos mm -hmm. to make someone feel very env envious. Yes. Is it yellow of envy? Is yellow envy in colors? Um, I don't know. To be yellow. To in know it's not to be green. In Spanish, it's green, no? Tino? Verde de envidia? Yeah, yeah, to be green with envy Tino in English es daltonico, as well. Tino daltonico, así que no. Yeah. <laughs> <He> doesn't know. <laughs> Fair says, if you wish something... If you wish something, ponerle a alguien los dientes largos. If you wish something to yeah. make someone envious. Serapis says, question, you guys. Do you think the moon has something to do with our mood? Does it make us a little bit more moody? 
I don't know. No is the answer to that question. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't believe that. I um, think I think it is it, the moon has these phases, no, or, yeah, yeah. of twenty eight days. Yeah. And yeah, that affects me as a woman because I get my menstrual cycle. Yeah. And yeah, but not, it, I don't think it's the moon. I think it's just my body. Yeah. When when mama's in a bad mood, that also affects my mood. <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the moon. <laughs> um, that's it. That's it, says Sarah Peace. Um, Raphael says, to make someone feel envious about something or make someone begin to have something that he likes. Vamos bien hasta el hoy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to make someone feel envious of something. Oh. As a suggestion, Rob can teach Mammon how to draw, paint something during a, during the break. That <laughs> something would be simple. Teach something Mammon simple. how to draw and paint. It's not simple. She say it. She say it. She's and that's it, that's kind of insulting. <laughs> no, something simple for Mammon. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Beatriz, <laughs> Beatriz says du Beatriz Duran says Hi, hello guys. Hi Beatriz. Um, wow, does it mean to cheat on someone? No, eso es poner los cuernos. Yeah, not los dientes largos. No los dientes largos. Um, talking about series, Rob reminds me of Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. If if he had no hair, maybe. <laughs> After he became a zombie. After he became a zombie. <laughs> wow, mommy. Sorry. <laughs> Poor Rob. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was from Pablo. Sorry, I had to tell you. <laughs> By the way, good show. Thank you, Pablo. Um, yeah, so, ponerle a alguien los dientes largos is to make f someone feel jealous, to feel envious. Exactly. Ding, 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 ding. Bien. Thank so, you, guys. For example. Let's imagine that I am on a diet. Yeah. And you say, Mamen, ¿te vienes a comer un burrito? Oh. What would I say? Uh, ¿Me estás poniendo los dientes largos? Very good. Yes. Good. Well done. Success. <laughs> Guys, you just taught Rob some spanish very good guys thank you very much thank you very much god it's so much cheaper than a teacher <laughs> 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 thank you so much guys so yeah ponerle a alguien los dientes largos mm? who knew i had no idea how do you say that in english apart from to make someone, making someone envious to or make jealous. someone green with envy green with envy yeah. That's it. Green with envy. That's why when um, uh, when the the our our, our listener was it Serapis mm -hmm. asked what color is envy? It's not yellow. No, it wasn't Serapis, or was it? <laughs> oh wait, sorry. One second. I'm gonna run run through the comments. I can't find it. We have so many comments. So today. many comments to get day. You guys are are awesome. To make someone green with envy. That's the color. Um, what? This is an interesting question. The color you associate with feelings. Uh, yeah, it's not the same, or, um, not always no. in Spanish and English, no? So g give me an example of one. Um, of one that is not the same. Yeah. I, I can't remember oh, any. any and I'll, I'll tell you the English equivalent. So I'll give you the color and the emotion. Yeah. And, okay, I um, <laughs> can't think of any right now. Like... Um, yeah, I mean, for example, even in, even in a very kind of... Okay, red. Is it love or is it anger? Both. Both? Yeah. Oh, okay. How about ponerse morao? Wow, I've never heard that before. To, be, ah, to eat a lot. To eat a lot. Se ha puesto morao. We don't say, wow, he, he turned purple. And you can also say, voy morao. And it means you're high. Ah, really? Yeah. Because of illegal drugs. Or alcohol. Or whatever. alcohol. <laughs> oh, wow. I may, I may use that tonight. <laughs> Directly after the program. Esto ya es apología de la bebida. Because we say um, to go red as a beetroot. What does that mean? To go red as a beetroot is like when you blush, no? Yeah, when you get really embarrassed mm. to be red as a beetroot. Yeah. But that makes sense because your skin goes red. Exactly. This is a very interesting topic for next week's show. Do we come back to this next week? Yeah, with colors and emotions. I yeah. like it. All right, guys. That music Tino's put on means it's the end of the show. Oh, We've we enjoyed it very much. Thank you. I've been Rob Grams. Mamen Rivera. And we will see you on next week's episode of Blah Blah Live. Bye. <laughs>